welcome back to my channel it is late night i have washed my hair and of course i jumped in the shower so of course you see my pajamas on don't mind that let's get started with the god's moments for you we are on page number two and if you got the book i'm so excited for you guys if you did get the book if you didn't it's okay you can follow along with me and just stay focused you might hear some stuff in the background because elon and john is playing the game right now and the tv is like super duper loud and they just playing boxing so you might hear a little oh whoa you know but whatever that's either here or there so let's get started if you haven't um if this your first time um seeing this video uh, about god moments for you this book is basically based on um notes inspirational notes like every day and so it has like the title like up in here then it has like a bible verse and then it has like the um information down here of like um say for example it says like my daughter wants to fly you know like i have like a little uh, paragraph down here and then what i do is i read it and then i explain to you how it pertains to my life and um if it pertains to your life as well um you could do the same you could also take notes or you could just listen so now we on page number two number one is in my videos so if you haven't seen number one please go to number one and now we on page two now number one was words of wisdom and number two is honest worship okay great is the lord and most worthy of praise his greatness no one can fathom okay so now let's go down to the paragraph y'all my hair is not dry so it's like water just trickling down my neck but okay god is that's the bottom line just because a person refused to believe doesn't make god any less real but let's talk about believers like you you accept christ you you pray read your bible and worship until you get mad at god yeah you'll pray about something for a while the need for a job or healing for a sick loved one or some other major thing and God doesn't do what you think he should so you refuse to worship or maybe your heart is too abused to worship don't worry God can handle your honesty he knows he knows you're hurting and he cares he is still God and he will wait until your heart can worship again. You are not demolishing his glory. You are working through a new depth of relationship with him. And now I'm about to read the bottom. A man can no more demolish God's glory by refusing to worship him and that is by C.S. Lewis. So, what I got out of this is, for me, is I'm just so grateful that God is patient. Because sometimes, well, what I used to do is I used to call on God when I needed Him, like when I needed a new job or when I needed, I needed something in life. Or when I just needed him at the time, and then I just, when I get it, I just brush him off, you know? And until I realized that I, I just had to stop doing that, and, I, and now since I stopped doing that, like, I still call on God. I'm going to continue forever to call on God, and once I do, like, I be grateful now. I'm grateful and happy that he is patient. Like, he's very patient with me. He waits on me until I come back. Because he know, okay, God, you know, I asked for the $100 bill. And I get the $100 bill. And I'm like, okay, God, I don't need you no more. Not right now. You know, and then, you know, I know you probably like, dang, Paulette, really? Like, 
just for a hundred dollar bill that's it and then when i when i lose a hundred dollar bill i'm like oh my god 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 i need you god god and then he shows up but it's like i'm so happy that he did not let me go you know what i'm saying after times that i ain't called him and i'm like oh god whatever you know i start reading my bible or i just like oh god i need you when i want you again or whatever you know what i'm saying and i had to realize as i got older because when i was younger i didn't really know any better i just got what i wanted and just left it at that um but as i got older when i cry out to god and when i ask him for something i continue to say thank you i continue to show him glory i continue to listen to music on the radio of gospel songs i continue to listen to pastor rick and on the morning um station and then i just continue to read the bible you know as much as possible because even though god showed so much love for me and i'm so grateful for that i am returning it back as well by reading his word um treating people kind um treating people the right way giving so so i'm grateful that god actually waited on me to come back and actually understand and was able to um do his work as well so i i'm so happy for that and that's my story because we all do it we call on god when we need him then when we don't need him we don't read the book anymore or we don't give anymore because we at we we now we up you know what i'm saying and then once we go back down and then that's when we started doing god's deed you know i think we need to do well i know we need to do god's need all the time not just because we are down now it's time to okay call on god and um do god's need because we need him again no we need to continue to have that pattern going so that way that we won't have to um like fall down once we down once we down we're gonna be able to still give once we up we still gonna be able to still give like it's not gonna stop we are not gonna stop doing god's work if no matter if we down or up you know because now we we got a good understanding and we know now um and i'm gonna be honest lately i have not been reading my bible because um i just haven't really had the time i've been really sleepy when i get home from work i try to cook i even try to help avion with his homework and then i just be so tired but god understands my heart god understands everything so he understands but that does not mean that i don't listen to gospel because i listen to gospel in the morning time i listen to pastor rick at five o'clock in the morning and he also on the internet as well so i have to take notes to take notes from him too and continue to stay into the word it doesn't matter if it's two or three pages as long as you are standing the word that's all God wants you to do and God just wants you to treat your neighbors as thyself and God just wants you to be kind and love others it's not hard but I am taking life more seriously by staying to the word more and Pastor Rick is helping me with that um, I will link his um his website below and um definitely because our preachers preach but you have to like i don't think our preachers know what they're talking about i'm gonna be honest that's just my opinion because some things just don't add up to me when i'm listening to pastor rick in the morning he know exactly what he's talking about like i can feel it in my heart when he when he talks he makes sense and it, it's it's like when it says it in this book that when you are hurting and it says like he and he cares like pastor rick said and that's crazy because i just got to read this and i just heard pastor rick say this like a couple days ago when we are grieving or when we are hurting or when we like feel as though life is just overwhelming god hurt as well god is hurting with you and but just know that when you said god is sad with you you know he's not up and just like if it got you no he's still with you and he's hurting with you but what he do is he turns that hurt into good and that's what pastor rick said and and i believe that 100 percent because i'm a witness of all of that like i really am so when you hurt it just always know that god is always still with you god is hurting with you but god don't like to see nobody down god don't like to see nothing bad happen to you but god would definitely turn that bad into something good just always believe that always believe that god is always with you um i will show you i will show you guys my bible notes that i wrote down i'm 
I'm still writing down notes. I started back um, recently, but I just think it's just so much. So what I'm gonna have to do is pray about it. And um, sorry, you guys, that was the kids knocking, playing around at the door. I'm just gonna have to pray about it and let God talk to me. And when he, when he talks to me and, you know, cause it's a lot that you have to cram in and I feel as though I ain't gonna never ever get done with it and just be able to study. But I'm just gonna pray to God and follow what he tells me to do. And when he tells me to do it, I'm just gonna do it, you know? Cause sometimes you can think like, it's just a lot that I have to write down. It's a lot I have to remember and it can become very exhausting, but it's very simple and easy. So I once I get the confirmation from God, I will definitely let you guys know. And um, yeah, so that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. See you guys very soon. Have a good night. Bye.